a buck. I it was mm, yeah like Gary was cracking. Welcome back to a new video. So today I know I'm annoying. Screenshots. Okay, so today I am reshooting my pregnancy q and I owe this. I'm a month. I'm like a month or almost two overdue for this. But like I said, I shot this at first and I looked nuts. And I was like, I'm not about to give y'all what I look like. And I don't I don't I don't like when I like it's already it's already enough that I can't control some of the things I wear, what I look like, but I'm not about to like knowingly go out there and look like a bum or like a psychopath or just a raging lunatic. Like, I, yes, it was me that dressed and did my makeup, but hindsight, I was like, nah, you're dumb. You're not doing that. <laughs> you're not doing that. <laughs> That's not how we doing it. We was not raising a barn. We have some decorum. Mob wives, by the way. Some black lip liner, just in case. I get asked. And cleavage is by my baby. We okay with this look? I don't have that many left, man. This child is taking away a lot of looks from me. So let's just be grateful we have showed up. Cause the first look I did, oh my God, if y'all could only see it. Ginger hair with braids, red lip, red gloss. I don't know what I was smoking that day. Not to say literally, but like, just what the, like, what was I doing that day? I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. Like a good like 50. The first question, so some of these is gonna be double. So I'm just gonna jump them, like loop them together with the same answer if they come on, if I pass them. <laughs> All right, so first question is, when did you find out you were preggers and how did you react? I remember being in a crib. I remember me being in a crib. It was like maybe a week or so after me putting in my, paying for my BBL. You feel me? Like I was feeling fresh, hot, unstoppable. What's up? Who, who you think? You know, I was, I was on top of the world. You feel me? And I was like, you know, I just had my birthday party, birthday weekend was crazy, whatever. And then, you know, I was like a few days late. I'm like, nah, let me check this. Went and got the good old clear blue pregnant. I literally reacted like how Shorty saw Mimi do her sex tape. Like I was like, I couldn't believe it. But I was in the crib by myself and I still am in shock. How many names you got on your list and have you narrowed it out to the one yet? Because this is a month later, when I first answered it, I only, I had like three or so names. We've narrowed it down. My baby has a name and it's very fitting and true to everything that has happened in my life leading up until this moment. So yes. Did you know you were pregnant the minute you conceived? I, <laughs> I don't even know I had sex. <laughs> Honestly, unless it was for like the pregnancy calendar, I wouldn't have known around the time. I was smacked when I got pregnant. If it wasn't for me being on a perk, I don't think this baby would be here. <laughs> how did I feel? So I was asked how I reacted. How did I feel? I felt like I wasted my money. I just paid to get a BBL. Like, I feel like I threw all my good coins down the drain. <laughs> if I'm keeping it a buck, I, it was, mm, yeah, like any cravings. I am now 32 weeks and right now I don't really have cravings. I just want some, I like a lot of sweet stuff right now. Throughout the whole pregnancy, I was lucky enough not to have like them weird old like pickles and almond juice, like, like crazy things. I, I didn't get none of that, thankfully enough. But I, my, my appetite has been regular. Like I, I haven't overeaten. Maybe it's maybe nauseous a lot. Whatever could stick, stuck. And that's that. What has been the most unexpected change pregnancy has had on you? Being tired all the time, being emotional all the, like a lot, like feeling everything. I don't can't tell you how many times I went through this man's phone for no reason at the beginning. Like most unexpected change I could see in my pregnancy is my relationship to my mom. That lady has held it down like nobody's business. This The pregnancy has brought out this type of energy between us. And that is like the most unexpected thing it had on me, honestly. Um, I don't know if she'll see this. Maybe she will, maybe she won't act like she did, but. <laughs> oh, and oh, on top of that, I'm sorry. The most 
The most common one is the one we can all hear right now is my my allergies completely flaring up. No one said, I saw this in an Instagram story, like everybody be talking about like how much weight, your face gain weight, your cankles, da -da -da, everything else. But no one ever said that I was gonna, like people with allergies will be more prone to like your nasal passage being just clocking out, clocking out. Something you can't wait to experience with your baby. Get dressed, get dressed. Oh my God, I can't wait to get dressed with my baby. I cannot wait to get dressed with my baby, can't wait. I don't know, just ha having somebody to go out on dinner dates and stuff with, I, I just can't wait to just get fly. <laughs> Congratulations on your pregnancy. How did you find out? What was your reaction? You know how I, you know, refer back. What were your initial feelings and thoughts about it? We talked about that. How is it having Tata as your doula? 10 out of 10 would recommend um, uh, first off, I didn't know what having a doula, I got a lot of, I didn't know what having a doula would be, and before I got pregnant, right out the gate, before I even knowing having, being ignorant, I was like, give me the drugs, give me everything, da -da -da. and first, like, month of my pregnancy, first, first trimester, first or second month of my pregnancy, so she sat us down in her program, after like signing and paying and whatnot, cause yes, still pay your friends. If they're good at something, never do it for free. You know, this counts happen, but. <laughs> she sat us down, me and baby daddy, and had us watch a lot of educational things. And one of them was a documentary and it completely changed and shift my perspective on having birth, breastfeeding, um, drugs, just overall information that well, you know, I could have done on my own, but I didn't care to do on my own because I was just like, oh, a million. For the past, like, 20 years, Shorty's been going to the, you know, to, to the hospital, getting epidural, and going about their day. Like, I wanted a completely natural birth. As having, while having Tata as a doula, she showed me, like, so many different ways that I can accomplish, like, childbirth and just having a cheerleader. And even though she's my best friend, like I naturally know how she speaks to her clients and how she speaks to people, you know, how she is. And having that as a support system within being pregnant is like something that I really can't put into words. It's really, really gratifying to have her as a doula. But all in all, having her as a doula is amazing. I would definitely recommend if you're someone that just need, you want positive reinforcement, education, straight knowledge, and you want someone to feel like your friend, cheerleader, business woman that crosses their T's and dots their I's and actually does the research and make sure you are signed up for, especially if you're a first time mom like me, if you sign up for breastfeeding classes or birthing classes, Lamaze classes, help, helping you understand what kind of birth you can have. You know, if you're into that and it's feeling not so old and dated, but and relatable and black and light spirited and overall understanding that pregnancy is just a journey, but having fun with just, you know, I would, Nula Dula is the way to go. I, Cause I've enjoyed myself throughout the whole way. I just didn't want it to feel like some old lady coming up to me telling me what to do you know like no <laughs> sorry for that spiel but it was old are you having a home birth up until today i was planning on having a home birth but retrograde has stepped in um my last prospect of a, a home birth midwife basically she wants five thousand dollars more and i don't have it so like i'm going to be going to the hospital unless someone else comes through the final hour after retrograde is done but i'm doing march so you know, it's a time thing, learning experience, but I was gonna be a home birth girl. I'll have, probably have it mastered by next time. Yes, I said next time. <laughs> um, you're the baddest and you know this. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> Talk us through your suspicions of being pregnant. The suspicions was, I'm a little late. I was a little smacked and I'm pregnant. Have you thought of any names yet? What's the meaning behind the names, if you can reveal any? I knew I wanted a unisex name. The meaning behind the name was just rebirth, re and the rebirth that the baby has given me is like, through, like I couldn't have asked for a greater transformation. Who did I tell first? I told Tata first. I just sent her the, the pee stick, a picture of it, and I wrote, bruh. Like that's the first. That's the only thing I could say. I was I, I was still I was in shock, bro. Like I was like I dead ass like dead ass. Shade, like you really the one that got knocked off. <laughs> what symptom of pregnancy has surprised you most? Not 
allergies, congestion. But the allergies has been making me feel like I have to repay, I'm repaying my debt somehow. somehow. Designer baby or Janie and Jack. I don't know what that means. The baby gonna have a little bit of and work. <laughs> have you thought about starting a journal specifically for becoming a mom? I, I have my holistic journal that I showed on Instagram. Um, I first, when I first started pregnancy, I thought I would be able to journal every day, but some days I just ain't got it in me. Some days I'm just tired, I can't do it, I'm not in the mood. So I thought I would, but I definitely recorded like major moments, but yeah. The holistic journal that came with it for the week by week was enough journaling for me because it came with questions, prompts, educational things, remedies, recipes, yoga, uh -uh. Have you been wearing any specific crystals during this pregnancy? Um, no, but I sleep next to them. They're like right there next to me. <laughs> have you any nursery ideas and themes? I have none. I'm still, I don't have any. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I got two months left and I still am like, just pull up. Just, I don't got nothing. <laughs> I'm open to ideas, but I like dragons so far. Like dragons, sharks, weird creatures I'm into for the nursery. But if not that, it's probably just gonna be like neutrals and browns and stuff like that. Typical influencer type things, you know? But nothing that screams the baby's gender. I know that. How you let him get you, girl? Are you JK? <laughs> um, you have to be from YouTube. <laughs> Are you afraid of motherhood? Some days I'm scared. Cause I'm gonna have to share my chick, like my food, my last bite. But I'm sure like when you love something, like it's just gonna, I'm gonna just snap into not caring. But I'm someone that's never like sharing her food. So I, I, it's just gonna be so interesting to watch me share. Other than that, like I don't, I'm not too scared. I knew I always wanted to be a bomb mom. I always knew I wanted to be a MILF, but I think that I get so much like daily support from my baby daddy that I'm ready for whatever. His family, my family, like, I feel very supported and very, like this was, it was meant to be now. Something that nobody tells you about pregnancy. That you at one, like no one says it. I mean, you know like why you see people go ghost and stuff like that, but no one tells you it's just because you just not in the mood. Like you're not in the mood to do nothing. Nothing fits, you're irritated because you're not you, you know? Like it's just, no one says, that everybody has their own little side effect and mine happens to be allergies. Everything flares my allergies. What are you looking forward to in motherhood? Congrats on your blessing, thank you. I'm looking forward to this baby teaching me everything and us exchanging lessons. Excited for motherhood to humanize me a bit more and toughen me up a bit at the same time. I'm eager for motherhood to just be connected to the other women in my family that are already mothers because I'm almost the last one, last woman left that's not a mother in my family. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just ready to see what it look like on me. I'm just ready to go out with my baby like, and just, and know like, oh my God, I'm not gonna screw this up, baby. I, I swear I'm not gonna mess this up. Like, it's me and you. Like, I'm just I'm just excited to be a mom, upside down. No, I'm, I'm sounding mad enthusiastic now. Check back in like a month or you know, in a few months and I'm just like, oh my God, like. <laughs> I said, yeah, man. <laughs> Ooh, this baby's moving. Okay. How did I feel when I found out? I wanna add this. I felt not ready. I felt not ready and I felt selfish because I wanted my BBL. Do you want a natural birth? I do. Random quirks I didn't expect. Not really. You no, know, I had my hair drop out, thank God, no more wood. It also didn't grow down to my ankles either, so there's that. The will to get up and get dressed to do this, it takes like a village of like continuing to tell myself, do you want to be rich or not? Do you want to be that girl or not? Like, I thought you said you wanted to be you know, on top this year. I, I, but you know, I said myself this year, discipline was gonna be my, what's it called? My resolution. <laughs> like, it's a lot. Like, when you have someone like kneeing you in your ribs, like at first it was cute. I would say do as much as you can in that second trimester because like I've had such a smooth pregnancy that I thought that by the third trimester it would continue to be like that. Mind you, it still is. It's smoother than a lot of people have. But at the same time, sometimes the baby keeps me up till 4 a.m. because they not done moving. Like, what are you doing? Like, you had all day to stretch. Like, how are you choosing 3 a.m.? You're weird. Maintaining myself, like getting to sleep and trying not to 
beat myself up for wanting to sleep a whole day. It's a lot. It ain't no joke. It's doable, but you have to figure out what you, what sacrifices you want. Like this energy, somebody will probably put into making sure they journal every day. I am making sure I look good. When it's a part of my job, you pick and choose your battles. You can't do everything at once. Like I'm supposed to be filming a haul for like two, three weeks now. The clothes are still sitting there. Getting dressed feels like I'm getting ready for a Game of Thrones outfit. Like it just, it's a lot. <laughs> Tata's reaction was like, I mean, but it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. <laughs> I was like, girl, then do you do it. Show us the tutorial this, but you know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> do you know the gender, if not what you want it to be? I know the gender now, so the whole like surprise of it all, just know the baby gagged me, all right? How do you feel about the new chapter of being a mother? I feel good, still look good, still doing good. Could be better, but ain't that always the weather, <laughs> you heard? How was your first trimester? Slept, slept it all the way through, slept it away. Didn't eat nothing, lost 10 pounds. Like I was just pfft, locked me in a cage. I thought I was depressed. I was pregnant, thought I was depressed. Would you do it again? You could answer this as well after you give birth. I'm already pregnant, don't like pieces of it, and I'll do it again. I wouldn't do it again alone. I don't know how single mothers do it. Shout out to y'all, couldn't be me. I'm not doing that. What the, the complaining I be doing, somebody gotta hear my mouth. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to rub this back. Someone needs to tell me that it's gonna be okay, that I'm still cute. Like, I get that every day in my wig braids or a wig. Nah, like, I can't hold you. Single mothers, y'all got it. Mother's Day, there needs to be a separate Mother's Day just for the single mothers. And I better not hear no haters. Cause, yo, the mental gymnastics, your mind doing you when you pregnant, crazy, son. How did I meet my baby father? Um, initially, I mean, we need to do a Q&A of meet the parents, but he says that he needs to get a shape up first. He wanna come correct for y'all when y'all officially meet him if y'all haven't met him already in YouTube Live. It was so long ago. We met, I think, on Union Square back in them days. We met, like, we never met online. We met in those days of, like, running to you at a party on the street type time. We had mutual friends. I don't remember how we met, but he th I think he swear he knows, so we'll wait till he gets here to answer that. But we've known each other for at least 10 years. Are you gonna give anyone the title of Godmom, Godfather? Um, guys, my baby already got two Godmothers and one Godfather. Tata, Toya, and Jiggy is a Godfather. Are you and your man happy? We are ecstatic. <laughs> he talks to the baby every night, falls asleep with the baby in his hand. He's the most attentive I've ever seen. The other day he asked me randomly like, I saw on Facebook that men can either make or break a woman's pregnancy. I hope I'm making it, am I doing okay? And I could've cried because I'm pregnant. I'm just like, the simple things like, like that, of like what men are like supposed to do, show up for the babies that they make, no joke. Sure. But it makes me feel good to know like how much he cares every day, how much he incorporates the baby every day, and make sure that I'm okay. Sometimes in a Virgo way, which means a dickhead way, but he means well. Like he'll just be like, you eat your sea moss, I need my, uh, uh, like, you know, stuff like that. This baby was not planned. Good pussy gal don't plan pregnancy. <laughs> How did my nephew react? Oh my God, I have a video. I, I I actually had a fake lottery ticket made for all my close friends and family so for them to scratch to tell them I was having a baby. And my nephew, he was like, oh, he was just, he's just glad he's not gonna be the youngest anymore. He's happy. He looks so happy. I love this for you. I am happy. Baby name. So other baby names I had was Mars because both of us share our Aries and Mars, and I thought it'd be cute since this baby is possibly going to come out at Aries that baby name of Mars. That was my top, one of my top names, but it was shut down because he's cribbed and he said that he can't have a baby named after a red planet, so. And then I forgot one of my close homegirls has a, um, a son named Mars, so either way it wouldn't have worked, but when he clipped it that way at first, I could have I could have screamed at the just, oh my God. I also had the name Six spelled C-Y-X. It came very close, very, very close. Some days I think it's still gonna be Six, I don't know, but. When you made the post about not drinking no more, did you know you was pregnant? No, I did not. And that's the crazy irony of it all, okay? Like, can you imagine, like, 
I was prepping myself to be pregnant this whole time. I quit drinking because I just was tired of blacking out and like it was just tacky for me after a while. Like really waking up hungover sometimes or you don't even know what you said to people or you having sex with people you know you don't want to give it up to right now. Like, you know, like that's why I stopped drinking and then it kind of just trained me for the no drinking right now because I dead need a cocktail. Stack. Did you play them? Like I said, shh, it was not planned. It was a surprise. <laughs> I didn't know you was in a relationship, but you look good. I didn't know I was in a relationship either, girl. <laughs> That's the whole team. Am now though. <laughs> Which would you rather, a boy or a girl? I can't answer that. <laughs> Cause what I have now changed my whole perspective for the better. Are you ready to be a mother, not only financially, but mental aspect? I don't know if I'll ever be ready. Are you the one and done, or do you want more kiddos? I want more kiddos. Two more, ideally, but at least one more. I wish I could do the Beyonce and have twins and be done. Forgive me if this crosses the line, but you shared your previous abortion and just wondering how you decided on having this one again. Forgive me, no harm. Oh, okay. Um, I decided because when I had all my best friends, like why the hell not? Like Clarine, I was on the phone with Clarine, I was on the phone with Tata, I was on the phone with my cousin Storm. Everybody was like, well, why not? What do you, like, what do you, like, why not? And I was just like, but damn, I just paid to get my body done. And they was like, all right, so if you get, you won't get your body done and then have a baby? And I was like, oh, I mean, you right. I might as well get my kids out the way. You right, fine. At least I have a daddy that loves me and the baby, so. That was like fine. Like, what's most comfortable for you to wear right now? Sweats, sweats, white beaters, big t shirt. Right now, I'm in a skim set. Look what it looks like if I pull it over. I'm a clown. <laughs> like, no. So, right now, so right now, my belly's tight. It's going through like Braxton Hicks, if you know what that means, if you don't. Mom. But um, yeah, this is the stuff I wear when I film. Normally, it's just wife beater, balsamic vinegar. <laughs> Nothing is comfortable. I'd rather just be naked, keeping a buck. What are some traits of you you'd like your child to inherit? I want my child to be as inquisitive as possible, not just take the first answer someone gives. I want my child to be an individual. And I, above all, just want my baby to have personality. That is my, I really hope. If they don't have my humor, that's fine. Just keep it cute. <laughs> what inspired me to take the plunge and go through with this pregnancy was how much support system I had pouring in and telling me I could do it. I think that support was a big thing for me to have as a language during my pregnancy because I know like how emotional I can get even when I, act like I'm doing fine, and but there's times I'm really like breaking down while I have a smile and like I'm dead behind the aisles, but I still will have a smile on my face, you feel me? Did you notice your mentality changed during your pregnancy as in grown or different outlooks? I've matured a lot mentally. I'm not arguing as much. I hear both sides. Like I'm more patient. I don't just have, just go in with everything hot. Like I, I'm, I'm more grounded. What has been your favorite or most rewarding part so far? My first rewarding part was feeling the first kick. I was like, oh my God, this baby really chose me. This is crazy. Scariest or craziest part of pregnancy so far? So I think the scariest part of my pregnancy was the middle towards the end of my second trimester. It was like 22 weeks. This baby had a freckle on their heart and one of the kidneys were too big. And I had to get an amnios amniothesis I believe this thing. It's a big, uh, it's a needle about this long that they put into your belly to get amniotic fluid. It hurts so much because it feels like you're going into contractions um, to test to make sure the baby didn't have Down syndrome. Thank God, baby did not. But that was a, that was definitely my scariest part because I was like, come on, Sally. They're like, well, we have to figure it out now because if you're gonna terminate, you have a 24 weeks, something like that. And I'm sorry, I can't go in no one I would have done something. I, I'm not built for that. So that was the scariest thing to know if I was gonna have to terminate or not. How is huddling your blooming career and carrying a blessing, does it affect you? Some days it does because like you, you worded it like chef's kiss. I love the way you worded it. It was very graceful, gentle, and tasteful. Gentle, gent, 
it was very graceful and tasteful the way you worded that and gentle on me some days it's hard because like you said i'm still even at this stage still blooming and finding out where my niche is and my work ethic lies and you know the discipline of this career some days it's hard because you want to beat yourself up about like just doing nothing because there's days that you just don't want to do nothing but sleep but you like no like you're still like you're, you're your own boss like who's gonna tell you to go to work if you don't tell yourself to go to work you heard so like some days it's hard but i still show up for myself like i am now it hasn't affected me to the point where it's made me like want to crawl into a ball if anything the baby pushes me to like y'all like if you can't do it now you're gonna be able to do it when, when the baby get here no like come on like if you you should get the hang of it now so it's you know it's no sweat or less of a sweat when you know he get here how do you manage being a mother to be an inspiration to all of the internet i <laughs> i thought i was gonna be the first time mom that does like all these like sponsored posts and showed you oh how to and this da -da -da -da. the most peaceful thing i i could have i've done for myself is just to be peaceful you know like i thought i could be the put on the set by the second baby yeah we can we can have the, the videos out every day about the baby da -da -da -da. but this first one was more of like an inward experience and just checking in with myself daily to make sure i didn't break and to remind myself that I am strong, that I am capable, and that like the world isn't over, like it's doable. I thought I could be more than one thing. I probably still can, cause I'm gearing towards the end, but I did have visions of sharing like the whole process on YouTube weekly, but it just didn't work out that way. And people still show me like grace and love, like when they did see me, but pregnancy, it's just a lot the first time around <laughs> it really is and i know i know by the second time i'll be able to have like the whole like mommy influencer experience down pack but this first one i need to get i have to get my mom right um how was your first trimester were you throwing up nauseous all the time i am someone that never really threw up as a kid if i like it's a violent action on my body never did it i didn't throw up not once my whole trimester but i was so nauseous to the point where i couldn't eat so it was basically the same thing it's gotta go though I'll take it out what does it feel like growing a baby inside of you is it uncomfortable it was only uncomfortable until this child discovered it had a working limb and could have its five once 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 this baby got its five senses down pack it can hear and can like it can feel it's over like it's so uncomfortable feeling someone scale your insides like how they did the white the capitol building it's like just slides to the left like that's how it feels like and it's like it just feels like that and then it's like spasms it's so crazy it's annoying it's, it's quite frankly annoying how does it feel with all that you've grown from and things you overcame? So this is the last question. It's pretty hefty, but it's fitting. God's plan. It sounds really, um, that sounds dramatic, but it really feels like a prophecy moment has happened from the beginning of this to the end. I'm, I'm sure honored and ready and welcoming and unafraid. Like I, like obviously there's like, oh my God, like, Will I do well? Like, you know, like those natural like fears, but I honestly, I'm not scared of nothing. I just, it just feels like it was meant to be. And with feelings like those, how could you feel? And I won't. So I'm so happy you guys stuck with me to the end and were very patient for this video because like I said, every day is a roller coaster. I'm very happy and, I'm, and thank you for sticking it through me for all my sponsored posts because those have to get done in order to pay for them. You know, you know, you know, you know the politics of it all. This what the baby looks like. I'm 32 weeks. So I'm two weeks from eight months. Shout out to everybody. I have fun.